What is up guys, welcome back to GWT Goons Today's we got another episode for you The last episode we um, we kind of find out what happened to John And um, I guess we this time we with Sadie trying to save him Let's see what can we do Arthur Taylor. Taylor what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. <laughs> but but nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, that's that's true. The that's story? a fair point. I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Thank you both. Land the boat in the morning. Prisoners come back out to work the fields. Place is surrounded by marshland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot. Look for John. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Yeah, sure. It's simple enough. Just kill everyone. How many times, Marshall? <laughs> yep, you tell me. Too many times. We good? Mm -hmm. Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. I totally forgot. I only got those two yeah, weapons. It's not exactly good, but I guess better than handgun. Okay, just do it quietly. Okay. <laughs> Hello? I won't get the wrong but Move over, will you? I'm sorry. So are we Take the shot, Arthur? Okay, we're doing it, I guess. Okay, come on. I think one of those guards was still moving. Let's go. Need to be quick. How long? How long that she move so quick? Come on, Arthur. Let's keep moving. Where is? You see him? No. You, Mister, you know John Marsden. I, he ain't, he ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No, you put the gun down. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> Where's John Marsden? She ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go oh, and get him together. Oh. Try anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes, very clear. 
Oh no you don't. Come on, partner. <laughs> Why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. S.J. <laughs> Jameson. Uh, is he nice, fella? Uh, he's been quite an exacting boss at times. Oh, I look forward to meeting him. Here, they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. So, you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Come on, march straight up to the front gate. You better hope someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. I don't know the what. Don't shoot! Okay, then be cool now. Just do as I say. Put the weapons down now. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you only got one guard. I doubt they would just say, sure. Miss Jameson here. He's inside the knee. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Milliken, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me. I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four. Oh, so? very funny. You know, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13, faster. 14, 15. Hurry up! Well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. Number one. For nothing. Uh, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and break that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on! Don't cry, buddy. I don't wanna die. Yeah, I know. I know. Hey. Hey. John. Hello, you too. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Melican here will stop crying once and for all. <laughs> okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> today's your lucky day, then. I'm done.
Ooh. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Oh. <laughs> the last bit I was trying to take the medicine, literally. Last one. Come on, come on. This time we're gonna do this. Come on, so close. We can there. <laughs> Literally last hit. Enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real word to them as can still handle it. Thanks. Yeah. Keep them off us. We will gun you down. Like that. Oh, that's quick. I did not recognize that it's like that quick. I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up! They're gonna be on our tails soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. Come on, hey, John. Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail alright? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. All them yeah, years, tell me about Arthur. It. He was like like family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we lost young Lenny too. No. What a goddamn mess. And then we mm -hmm. What about the the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? Yeah, we that's on a boat. Was. The only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. <laughs> it's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> you're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Grids, some caves there. Somewhere up north. The Pinkerton's north. caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah, seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's... <laughs> the Jesus. bitch. Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And, uh, I should warn you... That's Dutch just didn't not... didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so... Might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. 
So much for no man left behind. Mm -hmm. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. it felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. The Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Guess not. Like what a what a story to tell. I mean, for John himself, like you know, it's like literally what was going on for the past few weeks. I don't even know. Is it few weeks? Maybe even just like a week? No, no, at least a couple of weeks because they went to Cuba and then all this stuff. You brought him back to me. We told you we would. John. What are you doing here? Good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. Mm -hmm. I felt different. Is that so? Yeah. Yes. He's a family. Spring and John brings the law down on all of us. What then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! Mm -hmm. John, John, you are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They, they was talking to hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. <laughs> so basically, that's what he's worried about. That's just losing it. And Arthur is, is Arthur. sick. Arthur. Oh, sorry. I was miles away, thinking of. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. Didn't do very well, I guess. Completed with the nine, eighty, without taking. Yep, I didn't. Arthur. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, he ain't done yet, Abigail. Dutch seems to have lost his mind. I know. Just be careful. I don't have to be careful. I have you as a friend. That's nice. There she is. Hello, Arthur. All right. Okay, Arthur. Yeah. Here we are, Arthur. Why don't you lay off the bottle for a bit? Why don't you lay off me? Okay. Only concern. Sure. Oh, oh. I'm frightened. I'm so very frightened. Of what? Of everything. This, this cannot go on. How many more times will this survive? No more. These past months have been hellish. Have they? For me, for me, they've been different. I'm a changed man, Harris Strauss. Entirely changed. I have been saved from hell. We are going to die. Of course, but not yet. And the path shall become clear. I have been saved, Herr Strauss. You've gone mad. It's good to see you. Arthur, hello. Glad somebody's feeling good about all this. Have faith, Mr. Morgan. I'm 
try. Hey. And you? Well, you're the lowest of a lot. Ungrateful sons of bitches. All of you. You'll get what's coming to you. Okay, that's a bit rude. So good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And I inside you, ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Michael reckons there's a rat. Oh, uh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. Huh? <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in San Denis. Mm -hmm. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Uh, maybe time for folks like us has passed. We don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, the best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, start over. So that ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, the Pinkertons, they've got us panned in here, and ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here, shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. We need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Art. This better not be mm. no stupid revenge mission. But shit ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur, it's just a simple social call. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't really like Dutch at this point. Well, to be honest, I don't think anyone like Dutch at this point. So, what are we going to say to him that needs to be said? He mm -hmm. has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason yeah. that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, it's his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs you can't write, Dutch. We're wanted men. Hmm. So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're going to cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking Talk, about? What are you talking we about? Want and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur, and I want out, and he, he won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. Okay, well let's hope at least something will work out. Cornwall's boat is due in soon. Let's get down here behind these. Okay, at least I got some. Thanks. What are you doing? Get back! Okay. I want to thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid 
for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Along, Mr. Ross, we have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement, and I intend to make it a success no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two God figs. It. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence just... will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's <laughs> grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob, and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing. <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You've lost your land! Noise, Arthur! Noise! I don't know why, Steve. I did not. I mean, in my mind, I was thinking maybe that should like kill the like bodyguard and like and kind of hold him as hostage or something like that. But I did not recognize just like just go kill them like straight. Such things the only way. You sure you got the Shut the hell up. I'm ahead. There's more of them. You said this wasn't a revenge mission. It wasn't. We got what we came for. Rock's papers. Stay with me, Arthur. No, let's go now. Let's go. Let's go. No. Just like that, you want to play? Oh, I dropped it. Come on.
Come on now. We don't care about Mitch. It's fine. Who's school up now? Huh? Really? Oh, I felt a lot of guilt in this life, Arthur. I've killed too often and poorly, but not this time, son. Come on! All right, let's head for the hills, boys. They're trying to block us off. Go right. Look out! We got more ahead! That's it. Put more people ahead. Okay. Whoa. We all okay? Interesting social call. No, I no don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch. It won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the army. Mm. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to Santa Anita to resell. Mm. And bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike, you look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess. Arthur, you go too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? Don't worry about that. The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Blacklong. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. This is crazy. Scanner. I was taking out of hand right now. A shot. I thought I did. But I guess clearly not. So I just want to say thank you very much guys for watching another episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, please subscribe to us and please follow us on social medias and everything so we do keep updating on those um, with all sorts of different you know, games news. So keep your eyes on it and uh, in the same time keep your eyes on what the other guys was doing. You know, Santos Lee Grant was doing. They we got uh, a quite a lot of game 
what's coming out at this point. Um, we got Resident Evil 2, we got Kingdom Heart, we got quite a lot, so it's going to be a busy year. Thank you very much.